What is going on? Jean Magpatic here, and I just got this in the mail from Animal House Fitness. Now, if you've never heard of Animal House Fitness before, don't worry, neither had I until I saw their Instagram ads for the monkey feet. And essentially what the monkey feet are is a foot attachment, it's kind of boot that you can mount to your foot and attach a dumbbell to, to do a lot of different accessory movements. So let's say for example, like a leg extension, a leg curl, lateral leg lift, all these movements that you'd either have to use bands for or a lot of machines for, you can do with this one piece of equipment. Now, the nice thing here is if you know you're working out at home, you can just use this instead of actually having to buy that equipment. Or if you're at the gym and you just wanna kind of consolidate and do everything in one single location, you can just use this with dumbbells. Now, what I'm gonna be doing today is kind of unboxing this product, kind of giving first impressions, first looks, and over the next coming days, I'll be doing my full review over this product, kind of getting a feel for it, using it, using it with my clients and myself as well, and I'll come back kind of full circle and just give you my final thoughts and my final review after having used this for a number of different exercises and few sessions. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. In here we have our instruction sheet that kind of shows you how to put it on and how to mount it. Um, and then we have a nice little carrying bag. And in here we have our monkey feet. Uh, you have your boot attachment right here and then you have where your dumbbells go right here. If you've ever gone snowboarding or skiing, this will be pretty similar and familiar to you because of the way this boot is and then it tightens down right here using this little latch and lever and tightening mechanism. Um, and the way you put this on is essentially you open it up, release that, and then you'll put your dumbbell down either on the ground, on a bench, you open this up here, you put your foot attachment here and then boom, tighten it, close it down, latch it down onto here, it'll attach to the dumbbell. And then from here, you can go ahead and put your foot into it um, right here while it's in this position. And then you'll pull this strap in front, this strap here, slide it into this little spot right here, and it'll latch in. And then once you've kind of gotten it to a decent, as far as tightness goes, you can pull this lever to tighten it down a little bit more to whatever is most comfortable. First impressions on this, the padding right here is in the right places. So if you're doing certain exercises that might put your foot at some different angles, it's still gonna be pretty well padded. Uh, looks like it's gonna be super secure. Uh, the plastics that they're using look like they're pretty high uh, durability and they're gonna last honestly a pretty long time. And what's really great is that you're gonna be able to replace a whole bunch of different exercises that you'd otherwise have to have a whole bunch of pieces of equipment for. And I'm really looking forward to stealing slash borrowing my parents' dumbbells that they aren't using right now and getting a feel for how they are, you know, doing some exercises at home, bringing it to the gym, using it with some clients and getting their opinions from it. And I will report back to you on first impressions, review, and just kind of taking it through the works and showing you what's capable and what's possible with this piece of equipment that's just not possible otherwise. So I'll get back to you as soon as I can on that and I'll let you know what I think. Now that I've been using the monkey feet for about a week, week and a half now, myself, with my clients, with people that I know at the gym, what I wanna do is talk about how it actually feels to use the monkey feet, give you some pros and cons of using it, show you some exercises you can do at the gym or at home, and then wrap everything up with some concluding remarks so that way you can make a better informed decision as to whether if you should be purchasing the monkey feet or skipping out on it in favor of something else. 
Firstly, the monkey feet feels extremely secure on your foot. You don't feel like you're going to go through dorsiflexion or plantar flexion unnecessarily. Because of the way that ratcheting mechanism works, your foot is going to be locked in. Additionally, the dumbbell feels really secure when placed well, and so it doesn't feel like it's going to move at all, and it feels like the claw works super well to keep the dumbbell in place. Savings is one of the biggest incentives to getting the monkey feet. A leg extension machine from Nautilus is going to run you about $3,000. For that money, you could get 40 monkey feet. 40, which is wild. Or if you did a plate loaded leg curl leg extension machine from TSS, it's going to run you $745 hip abduction adduction machine from Body Solid is about $18 to $1,900. And so the savings alone for just using the monkey feet is astronomical. On top of that, you can replace a lot of different exercises using the monkey feet versus with the machines. They're limited to one, maybe two exercises, and they take up a lot of space. Now, there's a lot of different exercises that you can do at the gym using the monkey feet, both with dumbbells and with cables. This lateral leg raise variation keeps constant tension on your glutes through a large range of motion. This cable adduction variation will work the muscles of your inner thighs. This knee raise variation allows you to comfortably load the movement while isolating your abdominals unilaterally. This seated leg extension variation will allow you to isolate your quads without harmful shearing forces being produced around your knee joint. So who is the monkey feet for? I would say the monkey feet is going to be great for you if you're primarily working out at home using dumbbells. Or if you want to add some variety to your leg accessory movements at the gym, you can use the monkey feet with a dumbbell or cable handle attachment in place of bands or cables that are attached to your ankle. Additionally, if you're a personal trainer or a small studio owner and you want to save a lot of money and a lot of space, the monkey feet is bar none a great option for you. Lastly, if you're working at a small apartment gym with limited equipment, or you travel a lot and work out in a lot of hotel gyms with limited equipment, the monkey feet is actually really easy for you to travel with and to bring around with you and to improve your arsenal of exercise that you can actually use while working out. And here are some exercises that you can actually do either at home, at the gym, or in your small studio using the monkey feet and dumbbells. This lying leg extension variation strengthens your quads without having a lot of shearing forces around your knee joint. This single leg glute bridge variation allows you to unilaterally load a glute bridge without having to place a dumbbell across your hips. This lateral leg raise variation increases the lever arm of the movement and allows you to go through a greater range of motion compared to its banded counterpart. This donkey kickback variation unilaterally strengthens your glutes with peak loading and full hip extension. While I have primarily nothing but positive to say about the monkey feet, there are a few minor gripes that I have with it that I would like to see addressed in potentially future iterations. And firstly, I don't know if this is because I just don't wear long socks or because I just haven't had enough time to break in the padding on the monkey feet, but towards the end of my extensive gym review, the back of my ankle started to get rubbed a little uncomfortably where the monkey feet padding is. Additionally, when I was wearing my bulkier footwear, so my Kobe's instead of my indoor soccer shoes, I didn't feel as secure in the monkey feet with the bulkier footwear, and I was getting towards the end of the strap. So I'd be a little concerned for people that have really large feet or wide feet that they're gonna get towards the end of the strap and not really have much where else to go. 
Additionally, there are certain exercises I don't feel at all comfortable doing with the monkey feet. I'm just gonna stay away from entirely. So for example, a fire hydrant. A fire hydrant, you're in a quadruped position and you're going through hip abduction with your knee bent. And so with this movement, when you're doing it with the monkey feet, when you're going through that abduction, your hip is gonna have the tendency to either externally rotate or internally rotate because the monkey feet is acting like a lever arm forcing your hip to rotate internally or externally. And so that's really not safe because it's a lot harder to control, especially when you start getting to heavier and heavier dumbbells. So I would just stay away from that exercise with the monkey feet entirely and stick to probably bands with that. Additionally, when I was doing donkey kickbacks, when I was kicking back, my hip didn't really feel as solid and as secure because I felt like I was also going through hip external or internal rotation when kicking back because those stabilizers aren't necessarily in a prime and optimal position to work when you're kicking back into hip extension. And so the donkey kickbacks, I would say be wary of those and really pay attention to your form because there will be some tendency to either internally or externally rotate your hip if you're not careful. Because of the way the monkey feet is designed, your dumbbell is gonna be placed towards the back of your foot near your heel which means it's gonna be behind your center of gravity in your midfoot. And I really noticed this when I was doing lateral leg raises or donkey kickbacks that my foot and my hip had a tendency to externally rotate during those movements because of that center of gravity being further back. I would have preferred to have that center of gravity slightly further forward or to be able to also mount my dumbbells parallel with my foot so that way I could keep that center of gravity right in my midfoot. However, from a design standpoint, I'm sure it would have been much harder to do so. And so they probably went with this design because it's a lot easier to manufacture. Using a dumbbell with a straight versus an ergonomic handle, you do notice a slight difference in the tightness of the fit with those different handle types. With a straight bar handle, I really feel like the monkey feet is as tight as can be versus when I was using an ergonomic handle because of that slightly wider diameter in the middle, it doesn't feel as tight as could be when I was comparing it to the straight handle. Now, by no means does it feel like the dumbbell is actually gonna slip out. It just doesn't feel necessarily as tight as it does when using the straight bar handle. Additionally, if you're using a contour to ergonomic handle with adjustable dumbbells, like with my father's dumbbells or the Bowflex dumbbells, because that center of gravity is not right in the middle, that dumbbell may have a tendency to start twisting and turning so it can actually find its center of gravity going straight down. Additionally, if you have dumbbells that don't have a handle width of five inches, you may have to switch out your dumbbells or you may have to look elsewhere because the minimum width for the monkey feet is five inches. There are some modifications that you'll need to make to certain exercises in order to get the most out of them while using the monkey feet. So for example, when I was doing a leg extension, I had to place myself on an elevated surface and place some padding under my knee so I could go through the full range of motion of the leg extension without having the dumbbell touch the ground. Same thing goes when you're doing a standing leg curl, I stood on an elevated surface so that way I could extend my knee out fully and not hit the floor with the dumbbell first. Wrapping up, is it worth it for you to get the monkey feet? I would say the savings kind of makes it a bit of a no-brainer. You can spend thousands of dollars on various machines that take up a lot of space and primarily only have one use, or you can get the monkey feet and perform a variety of different exercises with similar loading using dumbbells or cables and not really miss out on much of anything at all. Additionally, it makes sense for so many different people. People that are working out at home with dumbbells, people that want to add some variety to their workouts at a traditional gym, at an apartment gym or a hotel gym because they're traveling a lot. And for studio owners or personal trainers, you can save a lot of money by just using the monkey feet with your clients instead of spending thousands of dollars on these various different machines. And so it just makes sense for a lot of different people. Additionally, for me, I have never, I mean, I mean never been able to do a traditional leg extension without pain in my knee which I do not feel at all when I use the monkey feet with dumbbells or cables. And that's because of the way a traditional leg extension machine is designed. Basically, it's gonna cause torque and shearing forces in your knee joint because you're locked in place, pushing out with your shin against the pad, and that torque and shearing forces on your knee joint is why you hurt your knees, why it always feels uncomfortable in your knees when you do a traditional leg extension. And that just doesn't happen when you use the monkey feet. And so for me, being able to do a leg extension 
pain-free. It's wild, like honestly unheard of. And it's, it's one of the biggest reasons I'm gonna be using this for my leg accessory movements. So that's all for today's video. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and like the video or subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. A bientôt.